What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 11 of Touch by an Angel, where you already know we go out where the people are. We go to where we can touch and feel the people. We have ordinary conversations with ordinary people that transform their life. So let's see what God does. What's up, young fella? I'm chilling. Right. I'm chilling, man. It's, tr it's totally a pleasure to see you, my brother. And what we're going to do here, I'm not going to waste your time right life is challenging all of us and i like to say this everybody's challenge that's in front of them your challenge my challenge everybody else in the world challenge that's in front of them is exactly what we need to get to the next level so how are you handling the challenges that's in front of you that come into your life i'm handling this well being with my family mm. my, 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 my. People's my 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 you mm -hmm. and him and and individual right right mm -hmm. so so you so, said it you said a lot so basically you stay close to your family you stay close to other people that bring other good stuff no negativity and that keeps you encouraged to keep doing well all right so here's the thing if I were to say if I give you this sense I want you to fill in the blank if I could only stop doing this in my life my life is going to go to where I needed to go. Or if I can only remove this from my life, it's going to go to where it needs to go. What would you fill in that blank with? Positive. Something that you got to stop doing, something that you got to remove that will make your life so much better. Or something that you can add to your life that's going to make your life so much better. What would you fill in the blank with? Okay, so you got issues with the gun violence. I got issues with it too. So that means you're a man of peace. You're a peaceful man. You're a man of good heart, of good cheer. I am too, my brother, and I thank God for you. So here's the thing. I know that life challenges us all to be our best self. So one thing about life, no luck is going to happen. Nobody's coming to save us. We got to be the change we want to see in the world. So I know gun violence is an issue for you. What are you doing to try to counter that? Like, how are you being part of the solution? I'm trying to talk to the young fellas and tell them to stay out of the streets. You know, you know drugs and, and, and guns and, and, and robbing and stuff and, and hurt people. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. You don't, not good. It, nothing good comes out of it. Nothing. So you're basically okay. out here being a spokesman, you out here living your life as an example to show the younger people what not to do, especially to curb this gun violence. I appreciate you because here's the truth. Our children are our future. If we don't invest in our children, then how can we call ourselves adults? How can we call ourselves out here doing God's work if we not investing in the future? So I commend you for that, my brother. So let me ask you this. What one thing is stopping you from being all the way great? Cause it's something, I feel it. What's stopping you? I want you to be bold, I want you to be honest. I want you to be honest, what's, but what's in you? What's in your way? There's something there, I feel it. What's in your way, what's stopping you from being all the way great? Come on, you can do it brother, there's a time, there's a time for you to come correct, right here, right now. God would have put all this on for you to be accountable for your life so he can help take you to the next step. Because this is the thing about the universe that God created. It's a perfect system. It keeps a perfect score and it's undefeated so we can't beat it. But one thing, it does three things for us. It takes what we give it in our subconscious and it helps us to be our best self. The second thing it does, it takes what we give it in our subconscious and it helps us to put, put us in the best position for success. The third thing it does for us, many of us don't like. It take what we give it in our subconscious and it challenges us to make sure that we are who we supposed to be. Be bold, my brother. What's in your way? Come on, let's say, let's say, because God would have did all this so we can get right here to confess one to another so we can elevate our lives. What's in your way? Is it hobbies? Is it habits? Is it addictions? What's stopping you? All of the above, my brother. So, so look, look, look at the beauty of you. 
See, we sat and talked for those minutes. I already felt that it was a big barrier in your life, but you still got enough God in you. You got enough love in you to still be anti-gun violence, to still be out here an example, a role model for the children, to still be out here seeking and saving the lost. So I commend you, my brother, because it's not where you at in life as much as it is what you've overcome in your life to get there. So you you got some you dealing with some sub some substances you dealing with some all that so let me tell you what God still loves you in light of all that He still loves you in light of all that He will send somebody like me uh -huh. and you feel that I'm for real with it uh -huh. He will send somebody like me to let you know you're important you uh -huh. necessary and you sufficient uh -huh. I don't care how many somebody with ten million they not better than you you know why. Because you got a fingerprint that nobody else can match. You got a life trail that God created just for you. And there's millions of people in light of all your hobbies, habits, and addictions. You still got immense value. There's still people out here waiting for you to develop and get right so they can benefit off your gifts. You feel me? My brother, man, I love you, my brother. Man, listen, this is what I'm out here for brothers like you, my brother. You know what I mean? This is what I do. Listen, I appreciate y'all for watching. This brother's going to be tr tremendous. you more powerful than you believe, my brother. My brother, my man, you touch my soul, my brother. You touch my soul. Mm. Listen, there's nothing in your way. I know it's, I know it's challenging. I know it's hard for y'all. Guess what? I know sometimes it's hard to see the forest through the trees. But guess what? There is a God that's hovering over all of this. I don't care how great science can be. It still can't figure out the true nature of human life. There's a God hovering over all this. And God is on this man's life. And that's why I'm here. And I'm bold enough to proclaim the gospel to seek and save the lost right here, right now. We need all of y'all, my friend. It's a state of emergency right now. We need all the frontline soldiers in the army of the Lord out here doing his work. I love you, brother. I appreciate you. I love y'all too. Listen, you be great and more importantly, be blessed. Stay on the battlefield. I don't care how devastating it looks. I don't care how many times you've lost or failed. You still, the fact that you're alive, you still got another chance to get it right. See, the fact that this time still left on the clock is still a chance for you to get it right. This you got to do. Stop focusing so much on the time left on the clock and focus on winning the game, my friend. The game is played on the outside, but the game is won on the inside. In your mind, my friend, you be blessed. Blessed.